Former president could soon be allowed back on Twitter. That is what CEO Elon Musk said today as they continue to review his account. A lot has changed in the short time since he took over the platform, including a mass exodus of employees. And that is some users asking, is it still safe to be on Twitter? New specialist Matt Rascone has more now from cybersecurity experts. Matt. Yeah, the big message here is secure your account. But cybersecurity experts I spoke to stress this is what you should be doing anyway, even if you don't have an account on the changing platform that is Twitter. It's your responsibility online to be safe. No matter what platform you prefer to post, tweet, like, or share. If you're not educated about this, you need to be educated about it. There's always a risk. Social media is a hotbed of... Uh, cybercrime activity. Earl Foote is the CEO at Nexus IT. He says with the recent exit of so many employees from Twitter. Probably a bit of a playground for hackers at the moment because there's nowhere near as many eyes and hands that are protecting the platform at the moment. Yeah, I think that does heighten the concern a little bit, you know, in the short term. But honestly, that still doesn't change that much. Adam Mare is the chief information security officer at Arctic Wolf and a former FBI agent. Even if you don't go on the application very much, if that app is on your phone, typically it's collecting a lot of information about you. He and Foot agree no matter what's happening at Twitter, your social media use should always include protecting your privacy and information. But the point is you should always be aware and cautious with a heightened sense of risk when dealing with social media platforms. Think twice about what you tweet or post on social media at all. Foot recommends getting a secure password, turning on multi-factor authentication, finding out what information the platforms are collecting. I don't think people would be comfortable with that if they really knew how powerful this information could be. Now, Twitter and many other platforms have pages like this on how to protect your personal information. Foot also recommended staying away from direct messaging, sensitive information, and locking down your personal data and settings. Matt Ruscombe, KSL 5 News.